Okay, let's see the Huawei Mate 20 Pro's RAM management or the memory management. It has six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, many people complain that EMUI 10 is very aggressive in RAM management. It closes apps in the background to save battery. That's the reason why the Huawei flagships or even mid-range phones have excellent battery life because uh, not only do they have large battery, but they also have aggressive RAM management. So six gigabytes of RAM, let's see. Okay, podcast, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube is taking a long time to reload. This has been the sickness of this phone. Okay, so here, S20, Chrome. Drive, VLC, Hospital Playlist, Google Classroom. Okay, let's open that. YouTube Studio. Let's try music. All songs. Okay, then Play Store. Photos. Okay, and let's try Discord. Okay, so let's see how many it retains. Podcast, good, one. Facebook, two. Instagram, it reloaded. So still two out of three. YouTube, three out of four. Chrome, four out of five. Drive, five out of six. VLC, six out of seven. Classroom, seven out of eight. Studio, eight out of nine. Music, it reloaded, so 8 out of 10. Play Store, 9 out of 11. Photos, 10 out of 12. Discord, 11 out of 13. Okay, so it reloaded some. The pixel earlier got 15 out of 15. So here, 11 out of 13. That's the aggressive RAM management of the EMUI. Uh, it has 6 gigabytes of RAM, but it doesn't uh, use all of it to save battery. Okay, this time we're going to test the Huawei Mate 20 Pro's RAM management when it comes to games. Earlier, you saw the EMUI's aggressive RAM management when it tends to close down some apps so that it can save battery performance. Now, let's see how it does in games. So this is Call of Duty, and I had real racing earlier. So it's okay if you switch back and forth, actually. Then let's switch again. Now, suddenly, it reloaded. Okay, I only have real racing 3 and Call of Duty in the memory. That's it. Only the two of them. But it had to reload. Now, there's the reason why. EMUI 10 has game uh, mode or the game acceleration mode. What it does is that it clears all the resources so that you can play the game in optimized performance. So that means it will close down other games or other apps when you're playing a game so that you can have the maximum optimized performance uh, because you're getting the most resources possible. So here, it's okay. Then, it's okay. But once the game, app, uh, game acceleration kicks in, it will reload because again, uh, it has to clear the background apps so that you can have optimized gaming experience. So, 
if you don't want to go against the reader, But uh, if you want an optimized gaming experience, just focusing on one game at a time, then game acceleration is actually okay. So that's the issue.